If you have a Shopify store and have been exploring ways to improve your conversion rate, you may have considered changing the color of your Add to Cart buttons. There's been all sorts of studies that show that some colors convert better than others. For example, red was shown to improve conversions by more than 30%, but we're not going to say that red is best because in those exact same studies, they'll say that red isn't going to magically improve every store, which makes sense because your overall color scheme will play a role. Imagine a red themed store with a red Add to Cart button. That button just won't stand out. So ultimately, the goal is for your add to cart button to be noticed. And we're going to look at how you can do this so you can get more shoppers to buy your stuff. Now, many of our videos are topics suggested by you, and we want you to prompt us. So put the video idea that you want to see in the comments below, and we'll take the most popular suggestions and make a video for you. All right, so let's change some add to cart buttons. So this is our demo store. We can see here the add to cart buttons are just plain old black and white. Um, this is using the Dawn theme uh, with pretty much the default colors. Now, if you go to your themes area and customize, we can hop over to the default product and we're going to see here the add to cart buttons. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click this product information section here and if we scroll to the very bottom you have the ability to set some custom css and we're going to paste in a little bit of code here and so this code here will change your add to cart button and um so you can set the hex code to be whichever color you want um and this will set the uh, this color here will set the the uh, border color right there so if we go ahead and save and refresh, we're going to see here now we have a red Add to Cart button. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Now, we can kind of look at a few other options here. Now, if this is all you need, you can pretty much stop here. But we're going to look at a new feature that Dawn version 12 has that wasn't there in version 11. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually just remove this. and we're going to um, check out our colors. And so if we scroll up, you're gonna see here there's this color scheme section. And this wasn't here in earlier versions, but with version 12, you can now change this. And so if we actually just change this to say the this, this scheme five here, you're gonna see all these colors are starting to change. Now, this isn't really what we want, so let's, let's change this back. Um, but you can actually edit. Um, and so uh, we're going to go to our theme settings, colors, and create a new scheme. Um, this is going to be scheme six, right? And uh, we're going to jump back here and change our color scheme to scheme six. And then we can edit it. And so these are the colors here that we can now play around with. And so, for example, we can change our solid button background, which is going to be this buy now button and our outline button, which is this add to cart. So let's take a look. So let's say we want to make it red, right? You can see our buy it now button turns red. Uh, our outline button, we can also make that one red. So you can see how this also changes red. Um, so that's a pretty quick way where you can change the colors of your buttons without having to add any code. Now, you're, what you're not able to do is, in this case, change your add to cart button to be filled in red, right? You can see it's just an outline one. But if you want to do that, uh, you can actually remove this buy it now button. So if we uh, come to our buy buttons and uncheck the dynamic checkout buttons, you'll see your add to cart button now is colored red. But if that doesn't work for you, then we can just use the uh, this custom CSS method. Um, to me, I actually like it best because I find it a little bit simpler. So let's go back and um, and change that back. So we're going to go back to our default and we're just going to add back our code right here. OK, um, so now there's actually a couple of things we can do. If we come back to our settings, we can um, go to our buttons section and you have these settings here where you can change the border thickness and the, uh, the shadow. So let's take a look. You can actually change here, right? Make these borders a little bit thicker, right? This, this doesn't look too great, uh, but you have that you have that ability to change it, and you can also change the opacity and 
um, the corner radius. I do like rounding the corners of my button sometimes, especially if it goes well with your overall site's theme. So, so for example, if your logo um, or your fonts are a little bit more rounded, um, this will match very well with that. Now we can actually look at the shadows. So right now your shadows are pretty much not there, um, but we can add them in to just to make a little bit more opaque, right? And so you can actually start to see some of that shadows. Um, personally, I don't use them too much, but there, that option is there for you if you wanna use it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. You're able to customize your add to cart buttons, change the colors, change the shape a little bit, right? By, by rounding the corners. And uh, you have two different ways of doing it. You can either do it through custom CSS, or you actually have the ability to just use the theme editor options and uh, change the colors that way. Like I said earlier, your video topic prompts are what we're going to film. So if there's a customization you want to see and you haven't found it anywhere else, let us know and we'll take a look at it. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.